Day marks two terrible anniversaries, the Manchester Arena bombing and the slaughter of Fusilier Lee Rigby. Both were atrocities committed by radical Islamists who slipped through the net. I would have thought that a man on MI5's radar detonating a suitcase full of explosives in an arena full of children and someone who claims to have been radicalised by Andrew Chowdhury hacking a soldier to pieces on the street would have been enough of a wake-up call for us to try to prevent this from happening again. Well, talking of prevent, actually, a report found that the counter-extremism programme may well have been giving money to a group that appeared to support the Taliban, so that didn't go particularly well, did it? The Manchester Arena bomber's brother, Ishmael, was allowed to flee the country before being brought to justice, and Anjum Chowdhury is notoriously out and about walking the streets. We know that jihadi radicalisation is rife in prisons. There is every chance that prison creates more jihadis than it rehabilitates. We've got people like Fishmongers Hall terrorist Usman Khan gaming the system, convincing people that he's no longer a threat, being sent out into the wild and stabbing two young people to death. A cursory Google this morning of UK terrorists released from prison immediately brings up loads of examples. Like Karam Iqbal, who reportedly was initially denied parole, he's been released from prison just two months later at the end of his sentence. Now, uh, Iqbal, who referred to himself, apparently, as the father of terrorism, was rejected for release by the parole board in October 2022, but was allowed to leave prison in December of the same year. Uh, here's one from March earlier this year. Uh, a terror gang linchpin inspired by Al-Qaeda to hatch a plot to blow up the London Stock Exchange has been cleared for release. This is all according to reports, of course. Mohammed Chowdhury, 33, has been freed and recalled to prison in the past. Examples like this are absolutely everywhere. You can just go and Google it yourself right now and you will find 20 or 30 of these within minutes. Now, I absolutely, I want to make this very clear, I absolutely would never want to speak for the families of the victims of the Manchester Arena bombing or Lee Rigby's family or anything like that, and that is, that's not what I'm doing here. It's just my personal view that the best way to one of their memories would be to make sure that the same type of terror attacks don't happen again. And I can't help but feel like we're still too soft on terror. And we're not helping ourselves with what might as well be an open-door policy in the channel, for example. Now, we always hear this immortal phrase, lessons have been learned. Have we really learned lessons here, given everything I've just rattled off? Are we really doing all we can to make sure that history doesn't repeat itself?